Well, hey everybody, it's Josh with Retro TV One Tech, and I just had a really quick video, just an update on this um, Samsung SSD that I was trying to fit in my Toshiba laptop here, and this little adapter. And I showed earlier how it was way too long when I tried to put them in right together, because this is designed to fit in here without any adapters, but because of course this is serial ATA, and that is PATA or 44 pin IDE, uh, they're different connectors, so it needs this adapter. So what I found out by doing a little Google research is that I can just take this plastic cover off of this because most of this is empty. Most of it's a circuit board on that side right there. Um, and so I should just be able to get my little metal spudger tool in there and I should be able to get it open and, um, and then put just the circuit board attached to that. And I'm not ever gonna use this drive again, so I thought this would be a good use of this 128 gig drive. Like several years ago, it was in one of my main computers as a boot drive when SSDs were still really expensive. But uh, now I can just start to pry it open. This is just a standard metal spudger tool. All right, so I have no idea how long this is gonna take to get open or how much it may or may not damage the case. I don't know. Uh, I just got this spudger tool, so I really don't wanna break that either. Oh, you can hear it's kind of snapping apart. That's good. So I'm just kind of trying to kind of work it out there. Liam That's is playing cool. Animal Crossing. What do you think, buddy? Isn't that cool? We're getting it. It's harder to do harder to do than what you might think, but I don't think it's glued, it's just snapped. So I just have to kind of work at it from different sides. There it goes. Look at that. It's just kind of snapping right off of there. I like it. I don't even think I've broken anything yet. <laughs> yes. What'd you get, buddy? Oh, you got, wow, you got, he's getting, he's uh, fishing in Animal Crossing in the ocean and he's you getting swim, swimming and- But you can't swim to New Island. Getting stuff underwater and, yeah, you can't swim to New Island, that's true, on Animal Crossing, that's a, uh, that's one of those things they don't let you do, is it? And so, if you go near the end of the water place where you can swim, if you go near the end, mm -hmm. then um, that means uh, oh, there's like a little get, bit of a like, a little bit of a net like there, isn't shells. there, buddy? Actually, at the end you'll get like shells. Ah. And if you get shells, you see the people, and if you see the person, then then um to ask you for that shell. I see. I always say no because I, I You like to keep the shells, don't you? That's yes, right. I That's can, a good point. Yeah, so I can build stuff, stuff like that. That's a good point. All right, so we're getting it close to where we need to be here. Um, there we go. Look at that. I, I really... Get lots of you got lots of different fish. Liam's still fishing on Animal Crossing. You can kind of see the circuit board in there just a little bit. Um, but let's see if I can... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that really wasn't that hard. And I haven't even broken the cover, I don't think. What do you think, buddy? I'll, I'll show you when I, it's good. I'll show you when I get it open and you can see if you are surprised by how small this thing is inside of here. I'm trying to keep it back away from it is buddy. Yep, for sure. I'm, I'm trying to get it kind of, um, away back from the camera, but it's hard to, hard to do, but you do need a metal spudger tool. I had to kind of get my fingernail in here first. Then I was able to, um, get the case apart here. So it looks like I almost have it here. There, look at that. Liam, look at that. That's all the bigger that is inside of there. Isn't that crazy? All right, so Liam, look. This whole big thing was just those two little computer chips and a circuit board, and it holds tons of information on it. Isn't that crazy? It's kind of cool. That's the whole circuit board. So the whole thing was just made up of this of this tiny little piece right here, and there's the back of it. I guess there's more chips on the back side of it that control all the or different the functions of it. That's right. So they control all the different functions of the um, of this storage device. So that's pretty cool. So all I have to do now is hook this up to this adapter and it will fit in there just fine. So that's the only part of it that's really uh, important. And you might be saying, well, why in the world did they make it like that with such a large plastic case? And the answer to the question is um, because it basically needed to be able to be mounted inside of a standard laptop case. So they had this, uh, and it basically just had the screw holes on the side here. I guess the screw holes are there. You can see those screw holes there, and that would make it able to be mounted in a standard two and a half inch uh, drive enclosure. So that's how that works. But the cool thing is now it is perfect size to fit inside the computer. I'm gonna slide that in there, like so. Liam's doing his fishing on Animal Crossing, putting stuff away in the house. Uh, what are you doing now? Apples. Okay. I'm hungry. I collect <laughs> lots of apples. All right, so I almost have this placed inside of the laptop here. It's a little tight, but that's actually a good thing because then you know it's making good 
contact. I just don't want to break any of these circuit boards here. So now that's all the bigger that is. It fits in there absolutely perfectly. And this is a lot better solution than this compact flash card because compact flash cards are more made for like taking pictures and stuff. Whereas uh, they're not made for as many writes and read cycles as um, a regular SSD hard drive. It's not the reads that really kill them. It's the uh, write cycles that kill them. You got a fossil? I love fossils. I'm not collecting them in my pocket because I'm out of room. Okay. All right, so now I've got lots of extra space in here, but I'm just gonna put this little bracket in. It doesn't really, it's not really holding anything in place now, but it, uh, it's just there. And then uh, it'll just help the integrity of the whole inside of the laptop case. And then you just put that there and then hopefully it will be uh, pretty sturdy when I uh, put it all back together and it won't rattle around in there. But yeah, I think this will be a lot faster as I showed in the last video. And I think it should be uh, a lot more also reliable with the data. Right, we're gonna try and power it up and see if it works. And it should still be uh, formatted with Windows 98 installed. So that should be okay. Yep, there it goes. Windows 98 starts right up. No problem at all. How about that? It actually just worked. What are the odds? You don't usually get lucky and things just work like that. Let's see if the sound yeah, and everything true. works. It is true, right, Liam? Yeah. Things don't you always just work sometimes. Yeah, sometimes work. That's right. Well, that worked. Very cool. Awesome. I think I put a game or two on here. I'm not really sure. No, I guess I didn't. I guess I just installed Windows. But either way, seems like it works perfectly. That is pretty awesome. All right, so I took it back apart because I actually want to hook this up to my uh, Windows 10 PC and put some of the games and stuff that I had on it. Uh, but you can see again, just a comparison between um, how big the actual case to the hard drive is and then how uh, small the circuit board is. Uh, when it's taken apart there. All right, so I got some files copied over to this uh, drive and Liam is here and he's gonna play a little silver ball. Uh, all right, so let's do it. You like uh, the one, you want, like fantasy with the dragon on it, right, buddy? Yeah, the fantasy is fun. All those records are yours. You're the pinball wizard here. Now, it pinball says the shift ball wizard. button, those shift buttons, buddy, here we go. Oh, we hit space bar to launch though. Yeah, space bar launch. It really looks great on this big screen. Good job, buddy. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And if you go into the book, it gives you like lines. Nice. Oh, the book gives you special like uh, special features there. Yeah. That's alright, buddy. Keep going. You like have five balls in here. Have five, yeah. So hold hold down the space bar. Make sure to launch. Oh, space bar. Hold okay. it down, and there you go. Perfect. Pinball's fun, huh? Yeah. Silver ball's fun too. Well, yeah, yeah, this is a type a type of pinball, but yeah, I love silver ball. All right, silver ball's a little glitchy on this computer because it's made for an older machine, but there We're is an updated version pinball. of Epic Pinball, right, Liam? Yeah, so here, this is Android table. This is fun. This is Go a for robot. it, buddy. And if you win, um, you, the robot comes alive. I think that's true. All right, hit the space bar and you can launch the ball. Boom. It's one of those really fun, addictive games. Nice one. Now! Sounds a little messed up, but that's not bad. Sometimes you're lucky and it takes longer. Yep. That's all right. I must have had the wrong setting for the sound. We'll fix it later. I'll just turn it down for now. Super fun still. It's like in slow motion, the sound is, but the game works fine. Either way, it's cool to have enough. A lot bigger hard drive on this thing that's a lot more reliable. See, that one was good, see? Super, okay, super so good. this one shifts that one. This one shifts that one. And enter means you go back. Space bar, let go. Launches the ball. That's right. Cool. <laughs> You're doing great, buddy. Bam, 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 bam. See? He's this a natural. Is how you play. Thanks. 
I only had a couple of years, um, days of practice. Days, but... yeah. Not quite years yet. That's right. Isn't that cool how it truly explodes? Okay. I love it. I think this is the last one for you. I got five balls on this one. Go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, but the longer the shot, the more action it gets. So that's right. That's why I stopped early. I see. Cool. Oh, almost that got through close. there. Close, go, goes. There it goes. Yes. Nice job. Oh, it went in there. I've not seen that before. <laughs> oh, nice job, buddy. Thanks. That's nine million. If you win it, yeah. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video showing you what's inside of an SSD. Super fun here, and we got to play a little bit of Epic Pinball, so you can never go wrong with that. And Liam got to play too. Did you have fun, buddy? Yeah, that was awesome. It was awesome. It was pretty cool to see what's inside of this little thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot of extra room in these little cases here. And now it's just an empty shell because I've got it. I just saved the shell just, you know, for whatever reason, but it's kind of cool to show on the video. It's empty and the drive is inside of the computer. So super fun, super awesome. Again, Liam, thanks for being my assistant and uh, helping show everybody how to play this amazing game. All right, everybody. So for now, enjoy that tech and keep it retro.